Ohio was a very different place when the Paleo Indians first arrived. Ohio was full of mammoths and mastodons that roamed the plains and provided meat for the earliest people. The Paleo Indians may have hunted the giant buffalo, giant deer, short faced bears, giant beaver, and giant ground sloths that lived here as well. This was the land of the Clovis people. Glaciers left many gifts. The Clovis people could thank the giant glacier that covered most of the state during the Ice Age for many of the resources they used. As the glacier melted northward, it left deposits of rich soil that gave the Clovis people plants that helped them survive. The glacier dug the lakes they used for water and food storage. Lake Erie and the Ohio River, which were also created by the glacier, were important to the Clovis Indians for water and transportation. The Migrating Clovis People Paleo Indians were on the move as the seasons changed, or as their prey moved. They fished in the lakes and streams found all over Ohio and hunted for nuts and berries. Their shelters, wooden poles covered with bark or hides, were easy to put together and take apart. Flint was an important natural resource that the Clovis people used to make their spear points. Did you notice that we didn't say arrowheads? That's because bows and arrows had not been invented at the time the Clovis people came to Ohio. They hunted with spears instead. The most Clovis points found in Ohio have been in Coshocton County, because that is where they got their favorite flint, called Upper Mercer Flint. Early Ohio Climate The climate during the Paleo-Indian times was very strange. The Ice Age was ending, and that caused some pretty crazy weather. Plants and trees that many animals depended on died out over time. This changing environment may have caused many animals to become extinct. It is thought that 30 kinds of mega mammals may have become extinct during this time. This includes the mammoths, mastodons, and giant buffalo. Of course, there are lots of ideas about the disappearance of these animals. Some scientists think it is possible that the Paleo Indians hunted these animals to extinction. However, the newest evidence suggests that a comet exploded over Canada and changed the Ohio weather very, very fast. This event could have easily caused animals to die off. What is the answer? Maybe if you become an archaeologist someday, you'll answer that very question. Everyday Life The Paleo Indians in Ohio didn't know how to plant crops or raise grazing animals, and didn't know anything about using the will. But they did know how to use fire, and they had domesticated dogs. They used a number of stone tools and were semi-nomadic. This means they didn't move all the time, but did change their location regularly with the seasons, so they could find food all year long. Where did they go? Actually, they didn't go anywhere. Their culture gradually became more advanced over generations. With advancements in their culture, their children's children became separate groups of American Indians. The Archaic, the Iroquois, the Cherokee, and the Hopewell are all the descendants of the Paleo-Indians. Over time, they developed different languages, customs, traditions, and arts. Our continent was eventually filled with many tribes with different traditions. The Pueblo moved to the southwestern United States and built adobe houses out of the materials around them in their desert homes. The Iroquois built longhouses made of the wood from the woodland environment of the northeastern United States. Time passed, and generations changed. But the Paleo-Indians' descendants are still here. In fact, every American Indian tribe in North America 
has its roots in the Paleo-Indian culture.